on like the subject of walking, I think um I have things to say. So if you want to get into it, it's good for you, right? It's pretty gentle. Um, and like you want to be able to do it in a nice place. Uh, like that, that sort of, they talk about the walkable cities situation, which is like, it's quite unfortunate how unwalkable people make a little town like Olsenville very often. My mum has a tendency to like, you know, I mean, like, there's just no way that every time she goes to Coles, she buys four or five bags of shopping. There's just no fucking way. I never buy that many bags of shopping when I go to Coles. I can't afford to in the first place. But still, walking. It's probably not a bad bad idea. You know, it's gentle. Um, uh, I did it wrong for a very long time, and now I have to think a lot harder about doing it because, like, I've got to point, point my feet forward instead of, like, out to the sides, apparently. Apparently the hip dysplasia is going to cause myriad problems as I age so I really have to like fucking get onto that and like you know walking upwards of 20,000 steps a day with not upwards but about um 20,000 steps a day is you know gonna get me in the habit of you know not dying of ass pain real bad you know um when I'm like 62 uh, other stuff to do with the walking. Um, oh yeah, that's the one that, that's the point I was going to make. Okay, I live in a nice little town, like it's a real quaint, you know, and like one of the biggest hindrances that I had with walking, um, just on my own around for no reason, um, was like the shyness, you know? Like, I'm not, like, very friendly, you know? And I, like, felt like, I guess I always felt I have to be really authentic to how f- unfriendly I am. But, like, you know, walking past, like, you know, anybody, really. Like, walking past another human being is not difficult to just, for, like, the three seconds that you do that for, you know, acknowledge their existence, look in their eyes, and say hello said I've been doing this for like like you know not as a dick like not like full time like I said I was doing but like you know I, I've been doing it like uh to like well for about three years on and off <laughs> I've been I've been doing it more regularly over the last three years I've forgotten the point I was trying to make uh <sighs> All right, maybe I'll get there. Maybe if I turn over again. <sighs> gotta say hello to the people. Gotta be like, yeah, you just gotta like let go of the authenticity thing to your unfriendliness, you know? And be like, hello. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, the, it's like a cultural thing, I guess. It, in Olsenville itself, I've lived here most of my life, really, technically, when it comes down to it, I've lived here most of my life, I've never really realized that, like, it is not, it's not that it's unpolite, but it's just not the thing to do to say hello to people, right, it is much more, like, everyone always says morning, they're like, morning, morning, you know, I've got Dutch heritage, I should say morn, you know, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, also, the wave, saying hi and waving, like, with the arms straight up. That's, that's, that's not cool, man. And I do it to le- nearly everyone. I'm, uh, I really gotta, yeah, you know. <sighs>